Greetings, Mathies. This is Mrs. Mounts. And today we are going to find out how to find missing sides using trig functions. But first, All right, let me get set up here. I know those are just so bad. All right, so let me get my screen. Here we go. All right, so we already know how to find missing angles. Okay, so we've covered that. So now we need to be able to find missing sides using trig functions. And I'm just gonna kind of rewrite this here. It just didn't get printed that great. Hopefully yours is okay. So we are going to find BC. So I'm gonna put X here. And on this one, we do wanna use sine. And remember that sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Well, the opposite of this side is this angle. So I'm gonna mark it. So we're actually gonna be finding um, this, uh, we'll use the sine of this angle, which we can find. This is 90 degrees. This is 21. So we know these two angles will add up to 90. 90 minus 21 is 69. So I'm gonna put that in there. So we are going to use sine of 69 degrees. That is going to equal X over our hypotenuse, which is nine. All right, now we're gonna make this into a proportion. I'm just gonna put this over one and we can cross multiply to solve a proportion. So one times X is X and we're going to find the sine of 69 and times it by nine. All right, so grab your calculator. Now notice on this one, we are not going to use the inverse, okay? So we are just going to click sign the degree measurement times nine. So that is the length of our missing side. Now you can see it's just this decimal goes on and on forever. Usually we round to the nearest tenth. So I'm going to put 8.4. So that would be the length of our missing side. BC. So that was using sine to find the missing side. Now we're going to use cosine to find AB. Okay, so I'm going to make sure that I put an X here. Okay, um, so we kind of have to look here if we're wanting to use cosine. Um, we need to have adjacent over hypotenuse. So we have to decide, okay, so is that angle C or is that angle A? Well, angle A is gonna be adjacent. So I'm gonna make a mark here. We need to find that degree. We're gonna take 90 minus 37, and that gives us 53 degrees. Okay, so this was 90. Remember, these two would add up to 90 degrees also. Now I can set it up. Cosine of 53 degrees equals X over your hypotenuse. So X is your adjacent side. Set it up as a proportion, cross multiply. And again, I think these are a little bit easier and quicker on the calculator. You do not have to worry about that inverse key. We just type in the COS key, cosine of 53 degrees times 13. And so that missing side would be approximately 7.8. Okay, so it, gets, it takes a little getting used to. Now we actually could have used a sign on this one. Um, you can use, a either of the three different trig functions de depending on the information that you have.
okay? So it just takes some practice and def we will definitely practice. All right, now this one says that we are going to use tangent to find AB. So I'm gonna put an X here. And remember, tangent is opposite over adjacent. Okay, so opposite over adjacent, we can use that given 50 degree angle. We'll be okay on that one. And if not, we could have found this angle and readjusted, but we'll go ahead and use that 50 degree angle. So tangent of 50 degrees equals our opposite over the adjacent angle, or not angle, adjacent side. There, I said it right. Set it up as a proportion, cross multiply. I guess I always put x first, yeah. Let's put x first, x equals tan 50 times 20. Okay, calculator. Make sure you're doing that calculator step with me. It's pretty easy um, to, to use those keys. And again, I probably told you in the other video, uh, we would have to look this up in a chart. Um, so it's really awesome that calculators just have this feature now. 23.8. Okay, so then I will just fill that in on the chart. Now, because we have you know, two sides, I have two sides here, I could actually now find the hypotenuse using Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So now we have all sorts of ways of finding missing sides. Um, the reason why we end up using the sine cosine tangent is because we are given only one, uh, only one measurement. Now, if we're given two measurements, we can definitely use the Pythagorean theorem. But you can see that is why we ended up having to use our trig functions. On every single one of these triangles, we knew all the angles, but we were only given the measurement of one side. 